What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. Hope you're all well and I hope you all, if you're from America, had a lovely 4th of July. Hope that went well and hope you're not too hungover or something like that. But um, yeah, let's get into quant. So I'm over here on the crypto coin market cap. Yeah, obviously here's the price. I think we were around 60 yesterday, so a bit down today in comparison. I don't know where the close was, but yeah, we're under a billion market cap which is amazing because obviously this is clearly over a billion dollar uh, crypto by market cap so I wanted to bring your attention to this chart over here I want to click the log and then all okay let me see if yeah see so if I turn off the log it's gonna look like this if I turn on the log yeah it's gonna be easier to see all the waves right so wave one began here this was wave one and it peaked up peaked out at if we zoom in and get the exact dollar you can see $14.29. So this is the wave one high that we can't afford to lose. $14.5, or oh, sorry, $14.30. And then, yeah, you can see where we are right now. The reason why I want to show you this today is because when looking at this, uh, comparing this wave two pullback down to $1.50, and then this wave three that started at $1.50 and ended at 400 and, oh, 411, let's just say. Well, this wave two is looking very similar, or this wave four is looking similar to this wave two over here. It's annoying that this price thing, this box keeps appearing on the chart, but can you see over here we have one bottom, a neckline right there, and then a second bottom over here. So one bottom, second bottom. If I come away, can you see that double bottom there? That failed. You're meant to break the neckline, but because we're in this downtrend, we just began one, it failed and put a lower low afterwards. So here, that's the same double bottom right there. One bottom, second bottom, failed to break the neckline continuation down then we've got like a, a, a step down went up a little bit and another step down i'm seeing that over here as well can you see we came down and then another step down right there so what follows next if of course this is actually following this fractal we should expect a pump that then as you can see retest this previous support so we could have a pump that retests uh this previous support i could be wrong guys don't quote me we're just looking at, we're just trying to compare this to this. You can see that we, we load out $3 and pumped all the way to six. So that's a bit different to down here where we uh, load out over here at 44 and a pump to, yeah, what's that? 93. Okay, no, so it's not too bad. About $95. So a double, yeah. Roughly the same as what happened. It almost a double. We went from three to five and over here from 45 to 90 yeah so literally a double so that's nice to see and then so what should follow is a pump and then a dump that loses this low so we should actually lose this low and in comparison if we're looking left we dump to this previous uh high if we're looking in terms of down here this is a higher low higher low and obviously a little spike below but yeah you you reclaimed it quite quickly still higher than this low so if we're in comparison we could be coming down to in or around you know the $30 area, $30 area. If we're looking at this, the scale on the left, the line across in and around $30. Yeah, but again, this is the invalidation point of our bull market target. So let's go over to Quant right now and actually take a look at this chart. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's update so far. Please leave a like if you're new. And of course, if you're a returning uh, viewer, make sure if you're new as well, or a returning viewer to please check out my Bitcoin videos. It's gonna make these Quant videos much clearer, okay? Because you'll know going forward, okay, if Bitcoin's going to do this, then yeah, Quant is most likely to follow. However, we did realize we were in an altcoin season. We made a post about it yesterday on my Twitter. Make sure you're following the Twitter, Louis underscore crypto. This is where I'm posting, yeah. Uh, so here I made a post about the DXY. Here we got 1.2k uh, uh, views on the video yesterday. So if we can do that again, let's get to more than 100 likes. Let's su surpass 100 likes like it's nothing. Let's try and even get to 150 likes today. That'd be really appreciated. So uh, yeah, I had some mint tea this morning. Where is it? What that I want to show you? Here we go. Quant up 22% since our $50 psychological support. We we're about 61 yesterday at $61. So up 22% from our support, which we called. So we said that once we were coming down to here, because it's around psychological level, $50, and we had support previously here. And when we went below, we quickly reclaimed it. We needed to test it as support again. So once we did, we were going to get a reaction. So knowing that, that is why um, I gave you this... Uh, nice support for an entry if you wanted to so yeah you can see from the 13th of june 
you can actually see that um, Quan is up 83% in terms of uh, against Bitcoin. Now, while Quan actually started going up from the 13th of June, as you can see over right here. So from the 13th of June, this was your bottom and you went up a maximum of 64%, but the Quan Bitcoin chart said 83% or whatever. So that is simply because the 13th of June, we only went up, but for Bitcoin, it was not the bottom. Bitcoin, the bottom was the 18th of June. So the alts actually bottomed out earlier. And um, I actually remember this because when Bitcoin was down here at 17K, I was thinking, why are the alts not going down? Are they lagged? No, they were actually leading in this case because again, as I explained the other day, we are in an alt season. So when this chart is going down, the Bitcoin dominance, if I zoom out, whenever it hits this green area over here, in and around, let's just say high 47%, when it gets to around high the 47s, <laughs> high 40s, let's just say, when it gets to the high 40s, it tends to reverse back down to in and around 40. So every dump that you do see here is an altcoin season. This is when it's been a, been a better time to hold alt rather than Bitcoin because it alts would go up more than Bitcoin in those specific times. When this chart is actually rising, it means that either Bitcoin is dominating and that could mean two things. That can mean that all the entirety of crypto is going down, as we've been seeing, and uh, Bitcoin is more stable, so it goes down less. Or it could mean that Bitcoin's just woken up first, started heading up while the alts are lagged, so to say. So in in the uh, since the thirteenth of June, Quant has actually been going up sixty five percent. When actually Bitcoin from the 13th of June, if we find that was in and around over here. So look at that, the 13th of June, we still managed to go down a further 32%. And then of course, from the bottom over here, how much did it pump? Because Quant pumped 65 and Bitcoin only pumped 23. So I'm showing you the data proving that it is an altcoin season. If it, and it's better to hold Quant over Bitcoin. But yeah, we just need to wait. Go check out today's Bitcoin update if you want to know more about what are going to happen to Quant next. But again, nothing much more to say other than that we're ranging. We need to break this high. If you're not doing that, we're just going to stay between this 66 and 48. We're trapped in between 66 and 48. And of course, these EMAs are our, is our midpoint. As long as you're above these EMAs, if we can retest it today and hold it as support with this red daily candle, which ends in 11 hours, if we can hold these two lines as support, then it's going to give us higher chances of actually going to the top here because we're holding it as support. These are our continuation moving averages. As long as we're above them, we should continue up. But this, these act as our double brick wall. If we run into these, this is what's going to push us back down to these EMAs and potentially lose them. Don't forget, even if we close above this, that is a bullish signal, correct? But at any moment, the bears can step in and invalidate it. The next day can be a bearish engulfing. Or if this ends up green, the next day can become a bearish engulfing. It just, it literally doesn't matter. You see here, this is a bullish sign. Well, the next candle did go up, but ended up as a bearish signal. Well, it didn't go down. Do you see what I mean, guys? So even though, these candles have specific meanings. Like this green one here, this is a bullish hammer or spinning top because it does have some width to top. So this is a bullish sign. But the next day, you had a bearish engulfing. If I place the red candle's body over the green candle's body, you wouldn't see the green one. So we call this a bearish engulfing because the red one's eating the entirety of the green one's body. So this is a bearish continuation. You've just lost support. You retest it as resistance. This is bearish continuation. So it's at resistance, a bearish engulfing. So a pattern, a bearish pattern at resistance is going to work out better. And then what's happened? The direct next candle just brought you straight back up. So there you go. It's li right now, TA doesn't mean anything. It's not as much with patterns, with specific candlesticks. Uh, yeah. The reason being, we're in a bear market, manipulated market. Bull market, you see this work almost 100% of the time. Bear market, stuff's not gonna work. So that's why I'm not trading nearly as much or not even at all in these times because again, you're just gonna have multiple fake outs. Here we go, you had a massive pump then this ended as a, a, a dump and of course a bearish signal showing weakness in quant. Then what happened? No, strength in quant. You see, so the signs, yeah, it's just not listening, guys. So the TA ain't listening as much. And the fundamentals do not listen to the fundamentals. I hate you fundamentalists, to be honest, because, again, if we're in a manipulated market, what is the news going to say? What's JP Morgan said over the years? Do not buy Bitcoin. If anyone working for us is buying Bitcoin, 
you can't work for us anymore. You'll be out of here by the end of the week. The same week, they're buying Bitcoin, but they're telling everyone, if you own Bitcoin, get out. So just don't listen to the media, please. I urge you, but I know none of you listen. But yeah, it's all in the chart. It's all in the chart. And as you can see, it is manipulated because we're in a bear market. So if it's confusing, what do you need to do? Zoom the F out. It gets easier and easier as you zoom out. That's why I went on this chart because it's lines. I'm not seeing these candles. And that's why I can see all the previous data. I'm, I'm very confident that as long as we're above this, we're okay. And we're way, way above it right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's update. Please like, subscribe and comment. Follow my Twitter, Louis underscore crypto. It's the second link down below under the video. I do have education also, which includes the crypto chat. You get it for free with my course or with my mentorship. With the mentorship, you also get the course for free. If you're interested in those, then you head over to Louis Crypto. I do still have bear market prices on them. Once we flip bullish, bull market prices are back because I want people to realize this right here is the best time to learn and invest, not when we're already going up, when the opportunity is gone. Thank you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.